in ash, which we make. During my extensive research for the show, I saw someone make a crunch wrap casserole. It looked really good. Let's try making that. All right, let's make a crunch wrap casserole. Today, we're making a crunch wrap casserole. I'm sure you've had a crunch wrap. We've made a crunch wrap on this channel before. This is a massive crunch wrap in casserole form. So I thought it was pretty cool. And hey, we're gonna try it. So let's find out how it goes together. Without further ado, let's go. First thing we gotta do is cook our protein. So to a hot skillet, I'm gonna add a pound of ground beef. Just start to break this up and cook it until it's almost brown. And once your beef starts to brown, throw in one small or a half of a large uh, onion diced. I'm gonna leave that out because of Nash, but instead we're gonna throw in three diced jalapenos. And then we're just gonna cook this until our onions or jalapenos in this case are softened and our beef is brown. Once your beef starts to brown, we want to put in about a tablespoon or so of taco seasoning. This is our homemade one. I'll put the link below. But if you got a packet of taco seasoning, go ahead and use that. Homemade is going to be better, but use what you got, folks. Make sure and preheat your oven to 375. Uh, homemade taco seasoning is a little light on salt, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt. And some garlic powder, because why not? Once our meat is browned, cooked all the way through, and your onions or peppers or both, hey, knock yourself out, are softened, we can go ahead and kill the heat and save this for a little bit later. So now in a nine by 13 casserole dish, take a stick of butter. We're just gonna kind of <laughs> grease this guy all around. gonna give it an extra little spray of avocado oil just to make sure nothing sticks here then we take some flour tortillas these this kind of size and let me see how's this gonna work let's try this is that about eh. so lay them out like this This may be overkill, but whatever. We'll make it work. All right, so we have a whole bunch of shredded cheese, just cheddar. So just kind of kind of put a layer here in the bottom. That ought to do it. And then we go in with chopped fresh cilantro. And then we have some diced tomatoes. Nope, that's not what I was hoping for, but all right. We'll make it work. Yeah, sure, that'll work. And some shredded lettuce. And then we go in with a layer of sour cream. I'm just gonna do a little bit of hot sauce here. And that'll kill that bottle. And a little bit more shredded cheese here. The shredded cheese, I don't know, the way that I see it is it's really just sort of uh, like an adhesion layer to kind of glue the layers together as everything melts. Then we lay down a layer of hard shell tortillas like this. So like in the store, they would be like probably tostada tortillas and just kind of overlap them as necessary. Like that, probably about six of them it's gonna take. And a little bit more cheese. Then we go in with our beef mixture. Try to make it kind of even. We want everyone to get beef. We need protein, folks. Protein's important. And then the rest of our cheese. Just kind of try and even that out. Then we take one more of these tortillas, and then we gotta fold everything over, so. There we go, see, just like a crunch wrap, it's gonna cover, well, almost everything. I'm just gonna push it down. Yeah, it's breaking my hard tortillas a little bit, but it is what it is. And then right before we bake this guy, kinda put 
everything in place here. And then we're just gonna brush this top layer with some melted butter. All right, and then we're just gonna throw this guy into our 375 oven for about 30 minutes, and then we're gonna see how it looks. And we're looking for kind of a golden brown top, and uh, see you in about 30 minutes, or that long in your time because of the magic of editing. All right, once your cruncher up casserole has kind of cooled, then ideally we should be able to turn it over. Holy shit, it worked. Look at that, ah, hot. So this is what we got. This is our crunch wrap casserole. Look, it looks beautiful. So if we just chop into it. Look at that, oh, look at that. Looks delicious, oh my God. All right, so there we go. And I don't know what about this. I'm just gonna eat this. And there we have our crunch wrap casserole. Time for a bite. Cheers. <laughs> Look, it's freaking delicious. It tastes like a crunch wrap, but that you made it home, AKA a lot better with better ingredients. I, I wasn't sure how this would turn out, but I am pleasantly surprised. It's delicious. Uh, I think your family would love this. I love it. But hey, let's see what Nash thinks. Hey bud, how you doing? Look. We got this Crunchwrap Supreme casserole, Crunchwrap casserole, whatever it's called. But this is what you wanted. So here you go. What do you think, bud? Hold my beer, Taco Bell. That's delicious. Anything you want to say to your fans? A bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. But no matter where they are, I'm going to chase them. You're so wise. Nash approves. I approve. Look, it's freaking delicious. And you could top it with some guacamole, some salsa, whatever you want. But either way, it's freaking delicious. It's got some crunch. It's got all those flavors, the beef, the lettuce, tomato, sour cream. You got the kind of soft but crunchy outer layer, but that crunchy tostada layer in the middle. Look, it's freaking delicious. So, hey, highly recommend. Go make this. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to us. We thank you. We love you. If you wouldn't mind taking a second to go like, share, and subscribe, that would also mean a lot to us and help us out. If there's anything you want me to make, you want me and Nash to taste, go ahead and drop that in the comments or go head over to our website, timschaoskitchen.com, and send us a message there. And hey, just remember, hook more, eat better, embrace the chaos. That's it for now, folks. Until next time, peace.